This is the Secure and Entrepreneur Show for top performing business professionals with massive wealth aspirations. And I'm your host, Aurora Day. Welcome and thank you for joining me here on the 44th episode of the Secured Entrepreneur Show. It's Money Monday and please let the secured entrepreneurs not have a business model that heavily depends on one demographic. Right now, we've got some luxury retailers suffering because of this coronavirus outbreak. Why is it that Chinese people are specifically targeted by luxury brands. And because Chinese people are targeted by these luxury brands, there is an expected loss of up to $250 million in sales in the second half of the fiscal year. We're going to get into why it is that luxury retailers like Chanel, Burberry, Jimmy Chu, Versace, and Coach view Chinese people as their most valuable consumer and why it's necessary and so important to consistently update your own business model to enhance your brand. Today, let's talk about your business and the coronavirus. I'm Aurora Day. Protecting your business starts before you open for business. According to the Bain and Company's 2018 annual luxury study, Chinese consumers were responsible for a third of the world's $338 billion luxury goods market. The study shows that only 9% of those sales came from mainland China simply because Chinese luxury consumers do their shopping outside of China where products are cheaper due to China's import tax. Now, remember when we talked about the travel industry back on episode 42 of the Secured Entrepreneur Show? If you haven't heard it, please be sure to lend it to your ears because Chinese tourists have topped international travel expenditure since 2010. According to the United Nations World Tourism Organization, in 2018, Chinese tourists spent $277 billion while traveling abroad. There was also a mention of Chinese tourists spending more when traveling to North America and Europe than they do in countries nearer to home, such as Thailand and Japan. Now, it has been recorded that in the United States, Chinese tourists spend an average of $6,700 per trip, which exceeds the average international visitor by 50%. You know, the parent company of Versace, Jimmy Choo, and Michael Kors, which is Capri Holdings, announced on February the 5th that the coronavirus outbreak would cut the company's sales by $100 million and that the situation might be worse if outbound travel and tourist traffic is further restricted out of China and into other countries and regions. And as of February 5th, Capri Holdings has closed 150 of its 225 stores in mainland China. And get this, on February 7th, Burberry announced that it expected the spending patterns of Chinese customers in Europe and other tourist destinations to worsen over the coming weeks due to the widening travel restrictions. Burberry has closed 24 out of 64 stores in mainland China and has seen a significant loss in foot traffic. So here's where we're going with this. We'd have no choice but to acknowledge the powerful lesson that is unfolding. Every individual and every company that is depending on China to produce or manufacture their products is having an economic issue right now. Every business that is depending on the demographic of Chinese people is having an economic issue right now. If you're an online retailer selling items that are drop shipped from China, you're possibly having an economic issue right now as well. So moving forward, 
As we are pinpointing our target markets, let's be mindful of the parts of our businesses that we can't control. We weren't expecting an outbreak of this magnitude to halt as many industries as it has. However, while this is going left, what is the plan to go right? You don't want to have to shut more than half of your business down because your main demographic goes missing. All right, I'm ready to get into the next episode. Remember to like, share, and subscribe here on Stitcher, CastBox, iTunes, Facebook, and YouTube. Oh, and by the way, be sure to stop by auroradayconsulting.com. That's A-U-R-O-R-A-H-D-E-Y consulting.com. Until next time, with Aurora Day, you are secure.